anime reader, Croissant. And today I will be reading to you from Never Left by Plastic Bag 3207. Now on to chapter 8. America sat there, staring at the door, waiting for Russia to get back from a UN meeting. He sighed. Honestly, this was one of the nice things about being a dog. He didn't have to go to the meetings, but as much as he thought he hated those meetings, it was hard not to be able to see his friends. He had seen Japan and South Korea once, but it was briefly because they had been in a hurry. He got to see Germany back when Russia adopted him, but now visits were becoming fewer and far between. Russia was starting to distance himself from others. America knew this. He knew what the eventual outcome would be if he didn't manage to get help for Russia, whether he was the ha help or not. But if Russia died, wouldn't he be with America stopped his thoughts. No, don't be selfish, America. He told himself. Actually, could he even call himself America anymore? No one else did. No one really talked about him either. Well, he was always with Russia, so if they did talk about him, it was probably when Russia wasn't around. America thought to himself. He honestly didn't really like being cooped up in the house all day with no one. Well, he wasn't alone, but Russia had work. It made him understand why Russia had never allowed him to get a dog before. What if he could jump the fence? Well, if he could do that, he needed to be outside first. America stood up and looked around. He noticed an open window. Well, here goes nothing. He jumped through and landed on the grassy lawn. He looked around and wagged his tail. Woohoo! I'm free! He howled. He looked around and just started running, enjoying the wind through his fur. For the next few minutes, he just played around not really caring about what was going on around him. He didn't notice Russia's car slowing down to a stop. The man rolled his window down. Chips! He yelled. The white dog froze and slowly turned his head to see the frustrated man. He wagged his tail a little. Russia grumbled a few things under his breath. I'm not in the mood, Chips. He yelled and reached to open the passenger door. Chips ran over and hopped in. Russia rolled his eyes and reached over the dog to close the door. Today hasn't been a good day, and this isn't helping, dog, Russia said. His tone was harsh. America noticed a little bruise on Russia's cheek, so he leaned over to lick it. Back! Not now! He yelled, shoving the dog away. America lowered his ears and looked away, regretting even having the idea to get out of the house. By the time they got back, Russia was still angry. He let Chips out of the car and slammed the door shut, making the dog jump a little. America decided to avoid the man for the rest of the night. The last thing he saw was Russia grabbing a bottle of vodka. For the next few days, Russia had meetings every day, with only a short lunch break in between. Apparently, it was a busy time of year for him. At first, America resisted the urge to get out of the house, but eventually he gave in. He jumped out the open window and wagged his tail so he could feel the slight breeze running through his fur. He knew he still had quite a while before Russia got back home so he thought of the places he could go. There was the park, the ice cream parlor, and Germany's house. After a few moments of thinking of all the places he could go, he decided on his best friend's house. He might not be home, but Fritz would. 
so he set off, running on the sidewalk. He had made the drive to Germany's house a number of times, so he knew he wouldn't get lost. It was going to just be a long run. After maybe 15 to 20 minutes, America arrived. He panted as he eyed the fence. It was tall. Very tall. This was mainly to keep Fritz inside and other things, like deer, out. Cause man, deer can jump. He looked around for other options, knowing that there was no way he was going to be able to jump over the fence. He wagged his tail as he saw an open window. He jumped up and threw it, landing in the kitchen with a very confused Poland staring at him. He looked over to the small man, gave a little bark, and walked over to the sliding door and pawed at it. Here you go, Floppy. By the way, where is Russia? Poland asked. America just looked up and blankly stared at the man before running into the backyard and chasing Fritz around. Poland watched for a moment or two before going upstairs to get his husband. Hey, Niemcy! he called. The Polish is translated to Germany. Was? He heard the German call back. The German translation is what? Can you come here? Germany sighed. Poland, if it's a spider, I'm not going to kill it for you. You can do it yourself. He called back as he signed a paper and set it on a stack. No, I think you should actually come here for this one, Poland said, walking back down the stairs. Germany sighed and set down his pen, walking towards the door and downstairs to stand next to his lover. Was is? He cut himself off as he saw Chips and Fritz running around. Um, how did he... He jumped through the kitchen window, looked at me, then walked over here and waited for me to open it for him. Poland said, motioning towards the sliding glass door they were both standing in front of. Germany nodded and pulled out his phone and dialed Russia. And that's the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time, and I will see you tomorrow.